Shivenen offers a rare opportunity that serves as a means of uh, achieving greater heights once you are determined, focused and open-minded. I'm a media and communications professional with an appreciable level of work experience in journalism and I have about 14 years experience in broadcasting, so to speak. It was a, a link that my undergrad project supervisor sent to me. Knowing Kweku Roxin, he's that type who appreciates quality work and then he never entertained anything mediocre. And so I had done a lot of stories that had impact on the day-to-day -day life of every, every person. Like uh, veering into sports, I had something to do with the amputee football team. They didn't have school, um, um, sponsorship and they had qualified for an international tournament. And so I went to them one-on-one, -on -one, spoke with Ali Jara, somebody who had gone through the, the mill but didn't have the support. And so it was so impactful that people turned to them and they gave them the needed support. It came out first on the African continent. I was just surfing the internet and I came across the uh, University of East Anglia. And what caught my attention, what attracted me was their world-class reputation for development studies and and um, research. It's, it's, it sat well with my work, as I mentioned, that it's more of a development. And so I said, why don't you give it a try? We went on this project, it was for BBC Voices. BBC Voices is a, a training unit for BBC. And so we were supposed to uh, research into existing films and also interview people. The challenging bit was that you are in a group of international students who have different language uh, background, different accents, and so they find it difficult even listening or understanding the Queen's language, so to speak. But coming from the Commonwealth background, I see or I saw myself as the one trying to explain to them what we need to do at every point in time. Um, socially, we had fun. Uh, the travels, the vacation visits, the educational tours, the charity works, volunteer works, um, those I can easily recall. I go into Stonehenge, uh, Keister on Sea. In fact, we had a postcode forms uh, gave us the opportunity to volunteer, some of us to volunteer to do short videos for our school, UEA at 50. And so I was on board and was able to help them with the voiceovers and us. I also learned the technical bit of it. Um, having fun, we went to Stratford upon Avon. Shakespeare's birthplace and it was an opportunity to discover the fascinating story about this great storyteller. I had a visit to the BBC, met a colleague or a senior colleague, David Amano. Shivenen Scholarship was a joint one, a Commonwealth Broadcasters Association and Shivenen Scholarship. So it was a joint scholarship. So we had that Commonwealth bond, the Commonwealth Day celebration. I was there, I was on camera doing all sorts of interviews and stories back for my home station, GBC. Culturally, would I say, did I have a culture shock? I had because of the, 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 the change in weather pattern. The weather was never friendly to me. From a tropical zone to a temperate zone, it wasn't that easy. And then living with the typical, like the typical way of English way of life, it wasn't that, it's not something that I was used to because you're an international student for the first time. And so you live with people, you have to appreciate their style. Coming from different backgrounds as professionals and, and gotten scholarship through Chivening, we can also use that same medium to also propagate the gospel of whatever we feel that should be done or to get our nation uh, on track. And so let's say if it's in the media space, you come up with something that is very critical that we can also talk about and then get the national attention so that they address it. So it's more of advocacy work and we could also volunteer to do some any charity work. Chivening has reshaped my professional life, my person and my viewpoint, the way I see things, especially in the area of media, society, development, volunteerism, because it's more of giving, the art of self-giving. Chivening represents leadership, it represents impact, it represents excellence. If you are doing anything along these lines, I will urge you to apply for the Chivening Scholarship. Thank you.